Oh, sorry. I'm going to take over, I guess. That's right. You should. So, <laughs> first off, I, I just want to remind everyone that they're already winners. Right, boys and girls? That's right. You beat out every single one in your grade level. So let's start off with another round of applause for them. And I want to introduce our judges. Over here to my left, your right, is Miss Judy Sullivan. She's school committee member. So welcome, Judy. That's our judge. And then we have Stephen Hook, who's accompanying uh, Judy for judging today, and you are from the Brockton Emergency okay. Management Agency. So thank you both. Today. They're going to help me out today as we begin the spelling bee. So I've already went over the rules with your children, and I just want to quickly go over it with the adults. And I'm going to ask you to put your phone on vibrate just so we don't have any distractions or disruptions for our students. So I will pronounce each word. The students, the contestants, will say the word, they'll spell it, and then they'll say it again. If they would like to get a definition, if they would like me to use it in a sentence, all they have to do is ask, and they have to ask before they say the word for the second time. Okay, so they say the word, they spell it, if they're in the middle of spelling the word, and they decide, well, I want to, I want to get the context of that word in a sentence, all they have to do is ask and they start again. So until they say the word the second time, they have as many opportunities to get help from the judges and myself. And they had some, we went over the rules back there and they had some great questions. So I'm very proud of the group we have in front of us. They really had some good questions for me. So I think we're ready to begin. And I don't know if we introduced, this is Juliandra. She is the head of our English Language Arts Division and Social Studies from Pre K to five from Brockton Public Schools. So thank you, Julie, for organizing this. And Eileen McQuaid is representing the middle schools, and you've been yep. here all day, I heard. Yes, right? Absolutely. Yes. Well, Eileen, we've already had three Bs before this, so we've had grade eight, grade seven, and grade six. So this is our fourth B of the day. So congratulations mm -hmm. to everybody. Okay, so I'm going to quickly introduce all the students, so you'll see how they're lined up. When I say your name, can you stand up and just give everybody a wave? Okay, first off, we have Marcus Terrell Myers, Jr. from the Angelo School. <laughs> Next, from the Arnon, your home base here, we have Damien Desravine. <laughs> Next, we have Jennifer Alice Deuces from the Baker School. <laughs> I didn't say her name wrong. She's already told me a few times, but that's what happens when you get old. Sorry, Jennifer. <laughs> and then from the Brookfield, please give a clap for Shantae Ariel. <laughs> And then we have Aiden Tavares from the Davis School. Andrew Vigno from the Downey. Amari Boatwright from the George School. Jim Nelson Cavallaro from the Gilmore. Colleen O'Neill, I'm sorry, Colin O'Neill from the Hancock. Julian Ortega from the Kennedy. Adrian Herrero from the Raymond, and Fabio Moratti from Trinity. Okay, we're going to start today with the grade four list. Okay, so everyone, take a deep breath. We're going to take some breaths and just relax and do the best we can. Okay, the first word for Marcus. Marcus, would you stand up, please? The first word is... The first word is across. Across. A C R O S S. Across. Correct. So we're going to ask everyone to hold the applause until everyone's done. We, you know, everybody. We already clapped for everybody a couple of times, so we'll just so we can get through this as quickly as we can. All right, Damien, you're next. Come on up to the mic. And Damien is from the Arnon, and your word is advise. Advise. E D V I C. No, can I restart? Yes. Okay. Advise. A D V I C E. Advise. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Jennifer, could you come up to the microphone, please? Advise. Advise. A D V I S E. Advise. That's correct. Shanti, can you come up? 
Shanti is from the Brookfield. Your word is alert. Alert. A L E R T. Alert. That is correct. Andrew, please step up. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Aiden, sorry about that. Aiden, your word is amount. Amount. A M O U N T. Amount. That is correct. Andrew, your word is angry. Angry. A N G R Y. Angry. That is correct. Next word, Amari. Your word is annoy. Annoy. A N N O Y. Annoy. That is correct. And we have Jamilson. Come on up. Jamilson, your word is another. Another. A N O T H E R. Another. That is correct. Colin. Your word is apple. 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 A P P L E. Apple. That is correct. Julian, your word is basketball. Basketball. B A S K E T B A L L. Basketball. That is correct. Adrian. Adrian, your word is battle. Battle. B A T T E. I mean, can I start off? Mm -hmm. Battle. B. A T T L E battle. That is correct. Fabio. Fabio, your word is blame. Blame. B L A M E blame. That is correct. Okay. Now Marcus. Come on up. Marcus, your word is coach. Coach. C O A C H. Coach. That is correct. Jennifer. Jennifer, your word is cough. Cough. C O U G A. Cough. That is correct. Shanti. Shanti, your word is couple. Couple. C O U P L E. Couple. That is correct. Aiden. Aiden, your word is crawl. Crawl. C R A W L. Crawl. That is correct. Andrew. Your word is cream. Cream. C R E A M. Cream. Very good. That is correct. Amari. Your word is cried. Cried. C R I E D. Cried. That is correct. Jamilson. <laughs> Your word is crush. Can you say can you can you say that in a sentence? Absolutely. Please? She had to crush the ice to make her smoothie. Crush. C R U S H. Crush. That is correct. Colin. Your word is daily. Daily. D A I L Y. Daily. Correct. Julian. Your word is destroy. Destroy. D-E-S-T-R-O-Y. Destroy. That is correct. Adrian. Adrian, your word is doctor. Doctor. D-O-C-T-E-R. Doctor. That is incorrect. Fabio. Your word is doctor. Doctor. D O C T O R. Doctor. That is correct. Marcus. Your word is dollar. Dollar. D O L L A R. Dollar. That is correct. Jennifer, we're now on the fifth grade list. Your word, Jennifer, is able. 
Able. A B L E. Able. That is correct. Shanti, your word is acoustics. Acoustics. A C O U S T I C. Can you say that in a sentence? Sure. The auditorium had great acoustics for the musical performance. Acoustics. A C O U S T I C S. Acoustics? That is correct. Aiden? Your word it is advertisement. Advertisement. A D V E R T I S E M E N T. Advertisement. Judges? No. That is incorrect. Okay. Andrew, your word is advertisement. Advertisement. A D B E R. Can I use it in a sentence, please? Sure. The advertisement for bubble gum made me want to chew some more. Advertisement. A D B E R. T I S E M. Can I start again? A D B E R. T I S E. Can I start again? Mm -hmm. A D B E R S M E M T. Advertisement. No. That is incorrect. Omari. <laughs> Your word is advertisement. Advertisement. A D V E R T I S M E N T. Advertisement. <coughs> that is incorrect. Jamilson, your word is advertisement. Ad advertisement. A D V E R T I S E M E N T. Advertisement. That is correct. Colin, your word is aftermath. Aftermath. A F T E R M A T H. Aftermath. That is correct. Julian, your word is afternoon. Afternoon. A F T E R N O O N. Afternoon. That is correct. Fabio. Your word is afterthought. Afterthought. A F T E R T H O U G H T. Afterthought. That is correct. Marcus, your word is apartment. Apartment. Can you put in the sentence? Sure. Please? The apartment where we lived was comfortable and cozy. He did not say the word to begin the first time? Yeah. Oh. 
Okay, I heard him say, okay, all right, that is correct. Okay, thank you. Okay, next, Jennifer, your word is awkward. Shanti, your word is awkward. Awkward. A W K. Sure. He made the situation awkward when he refused to speak to the principal. Your word is beginner. Beginner. B E G I N N E R. Beginner. Correct. Colin. Your word is believe. Believe. B E L I E V E. Believe. That is correct. Julian. Your word is boundary. Boundary, B-O-U-N-D-R-I-E, boundary. That is incorrect. Fabio, your word is boundary. Boundary, B-O-U-N-D-A-R-Y, boundary. That is correct. Marcus, your word is burglar. I'm going to announce that again. Yeah. You know, I'm going to pronounce it a little bit better. I think my Boston accent is kicking in sometimes. Sorry. Your word is burglar. May I have a sentence? Sure. I caught the burglar as he was climbing through the window. B U G G. Mission from the beginning? Yes. Burglar. B U R G G L A R. Mission from the beginning? Yes. Burglar. B. U. R. May I start from the beginning? Yes. Remember, as long as you don't say the word the second time, you have as many Very opportunities clear. as you need. B U R Let me start from the beginning. Burglar. B U R G G Let me start from the beginning. B U R G G L E R
Pergola. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Shanti, your word is burglar. Definition of burglar, one who commits burglary. Sorry, that is incorrect. Jamilson, your word is burglar. Burglar. B U R G U A R. Burglar. That is incorrect. Colin, your word is burglar. Burglar. B U R. G L E R burglar. That is incorrect. Fabio. Your word is burglar. Burglar. B U R G A L O R burglar. That is incorrect. So now he's, that was Fabio. So now we start with Marcus. So they all got the same word wrong. Yes. So now we all get a whole new word. Okay, burglar. B U R G L A R, burglar. Okay, Marcus, come up. So that was Marcus, Fabio, Colin, and Jamilson, correct? Okay, Marcus, your new word is. Marcus, Shanti was a burglar. Okay, sorry. Yep. Okay. Okay. Marcus, Shanti was a burglar. Mm-hmm. Colin Excellent. Okay. Your word is bond stand. Marcus, your word is bond stand. We have it in the sentence. The water cycle is constant. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. So this has to be a typo. It's, it's yeah. a typo. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to skip that word? Skip that word. Skip that word. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Shanti. Your word is crouton. Can I have it in a sentence? I had a single crouton on my Caesar salad. Crouton. C R O U T O and crouton? That is correct. 
Jamilson. Jamilson, your word is currency. Currency? Mm -hmm. Currency. C U R R E N C Y. Currency. That is correct. <coughs> Colin, your word is delight. Delight. D E L I G H T. Delight. That is correct. Fabio, your word is cycle. Cycle. C Y C L E. Cycle. That is correct. Marcus. Oh, I'm sorry. No, Shanti. Your word is customer. Customer. C U S T. Customer? That is correct. Jim Wilson. Your word is detrimental. <coughs> detrimental. D E T R I M E N T A L. Detrimental. That is correct. <coughs> Colin. Your word is devotion. Devotion. D E V O T I O N devotion. That is correct. Fabio. Your word is disguise. Disguise. D I S C I S E disguise. Sorry, that is incorrect. Shanti. Your word is disguise. Disguise. Sure. I wore a disguise so my brother wouldn't recognize me. Disguise. D I S. Your word is distance. Distance. D I S T A N C E. Distance. That is correct. Colin, your word is dominant. Dominant. D O M I N A N T. Dominant. That is correct. Shanti. Your word is eager. Eager. E G A R eager. That is incorrect. Jamilson. Your word is eager. Eager. E A G E R. Eager. That is correct. Colin, your word is education. Education. E D U C A T I O N. Education. That is correct. So I just want to check we're down to two. Correct? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Just want to make sure. Okay, Janilson. Your word is encourage. Encourage. E N C O U R A G E. Encourage. That is correct. Colin, your word is extravagant. Extravagant. E X T R A V I G A N T. Extravagant. That is incorrect. Jamilson. Your word is extravagant. Extravagant. E, 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 wait, may I start over? Yes. E, X, T, R, A, V, A, G, A, N, T. 
extra. That is correct. Oh, we have one more word. The word is facility. Facility. F A C I L I T Y. Facility. That is correct. Congratulations. Okay. Yes. And remember, boys and girls, you're all winners. You beat out every single fifth grader in your home school. That is amazing. Be proud of that, please. And every person gets a gift certificate to the Dairy Queen because they're winners. Okay, I'd like to announce. Oh, is that okay? I think we'll have you sit down. Oh, you're going to sit? All right, sorry. I told them to stand. Yeah. And look at their, their great stuff. They're great at following directions as well. Okay, we'll have the third place winner to come up. Sean T, come on up. Good job. Congratulations, and here's your ribbon. Stay right up here. What if you just stand right up here? Second place winner is Colin O'Neill from the Hancock. Come on up, Colin. Great job. Great job, Colin. And again, our winner is Jim Ilson from the Gilmore. Come on up. First place. All right. Let's give everyone a big round of applause.